Hello, welcome back. Um, this is just going to be a, a short one. A lot of people have uh, asked me about how you install third-party zip files in um, DAS Studio. So we're going to go through and, uh, and do so uh, here in front of you. Here I have some um, zip files that do not come from DAS. These are from Renderosity or from ShareCG. Um, places like that. There's a lot of different places that you can um, get DAS assets to install into DAS Studio. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pick um, one of these to begin with. So let's pick this one and on Windows 10, which is what I have, we double click. And inside here we see a file uh, folder. You don't want to drop this into your DAS library. So we double click on it again. And here we've got my library, some other formats, some readmes, some templates. For our installation purposes, we're going to use this. Again, you don't want to drop this directly into your DAS library or you're going to have files all over the place. So you double click on it. Now we find data and props and runtime. Once we find one of these folders, it could be multiple of these folders, we'll do a couple of other ones so you can see what other ones. Data is where the um, information is stored for the mesh object. The props will be where you will find the um, item itself. And then runtime will be where your textures and materials and things are. Um, this is if you're, again, working with DAS Studio. So what you're going to want to do is to take all of these folders, and I have my um, DAS 3D library location pinned to my quick access to make it easier. You would go to wherever your actual DAS library is uh, stored. Um, if it's in the um, default place, it'll probably be in um, public, user public. And uh, if you put it someplace else, you'll just go to that place and you'll find this DAS 3D library. So you'll take these three files and you can select them any number of, of ways, but you'll select those files and then you will take and you will just drag and drop them into the library. So it's going to tell me that I already have a folder named data because that's where all the, the data is. Um, so you can either do the click the do this for all current items or you can just say yes. And there's the already has a folder named scroll throne. The reason is because I've already pre-installed this at a different time. Um, yours probably would not say that. So, so yes, there's one that says base. And it's, you know, put them in props. So here's the folder props. So yes, again, um, because I've already pre-installed this, it's um, duplicating all of these, which is why. So, and again, it's saying I have 10 files with the same names because this has been installed before. So I'm just gonna accept it. So all of those are now inside my DAS library ready to use in DAS. And if we were to go here to props and double click on that, we'll see the name of the uh, vendor and then the name of the object. This right here, this duff and this PNG, um, the PNG is the little icon picture that when you open up um, in your DAS you'll see the duff is the information and materials just has some further things so to show you where it's been installed since we can follow this same um, thing down we'll come here to my DAS um, because this was already open I'm gonna go right click on it and then hit refresh and that uploads or, or opens any new files that I've just put in so here's my DAS 3D library and I'm going to open it up, we come down to props, and open up the little thing there. We know that the vendor is Feral Women. So there 
Sparrow Fay. I should have looked at how that was spelled. Let's go back. F A E R or F A E R Y. F A. There we go. Feral women. Open up this. There's the scroll throne and the materials. So there's our scroll throne. We can then just you know drag it into the scene or double click it and uh, and then for the materials it uh, showing the two materials that uh, came with it, the lighter colored scroll and then the, the darker colored scroll. So there we've installed um, one of the files. So we can come back here and go back our third-party zip files. All right, so let's pick a uh, another one. So that was a, a prop object. So let's uh, here. This one should be a person. So we'll double click here. This one went directly to data, people, runtime, documentation. So we didn't have to drill down in until we found this because of the way that it was zipped. That's already right there. We do the same thing. We select them all and we drag them to our DAS 3D library. Again, um, because data is the main folder, it's going to, to say that you have this. And since I've already done this before, oh, I guess it's not a person. This is a gown. Um, then say yes. And it takes and it will move all of those files. This one's a pretty big one, so it's got a lot of things. So while that's running through, if we see uh, here we've got people, we can double click on that. This would be how you can find out where the file is, Genesis 8 female. clothing and the name of it uh, is Rianon for the vendor Aurelia is the product and here's all the, the parts of it there'll be a gown and a jacket and then um, IRA materials some skirts etc the, all the different parts of this particular thing so, to see if we can find it, so we know that we're going to go to People, Genesis 8, Clothing, Rhiannon, Aurelia. So we open up this. Again, we're going to need to refresh it. So we come back all the way to the top, and we click that, and we say Refresh. And we wait. There we go. So now we know that that has loaded it in, so my Dash 3 d library. We go down to people, Genesis 8 female, uh, down here, Genesis 8 female. Sometimes you'll have things that are spelled wrong, that's the, the vendor's problem. And then we know this is Rhiannon, or with clothing. Rhiannon, Aurelia, and there's the dress and the jacket, and there's the various materials and uh, other parts of it. So now it's in our in our system. And we'll do one more just for fun. Um, okay, this one's a hair. So double click on the zip. Ah, this one says content. So we don't drag that over. We double click on it. Inside, here's the data, the people, and the runtime. 
so we only had to, to drill in one time. Select, drag to the library, yes. Again, we're going to do it for all folders and replace. All right, so now we, once it says that's done, we go to our DS, we come up here, we right click, hit refresh. And we're going to go into the file here that says people. Um, this is Genesis 8 female again. This time it's hair folder. Excessive. And then here's the materials. So, excessive. They didn't even name it uh, Dane hair. The Dane hair is in here. So, excessive is where we will find it. So we open here, Genesis 8, female, or people, don't get ahead of myself, Genesis 8, female, and then excessive, oh, hair, got to follow it all the way down. excessive and there's the Dane hair and uh, apparently they also have done a Zelma hair previously but there's the Dane hair that's the the new one and here's all the the colors for the Dane hair so um, hopefully that uh, can help people figure out how you um, put the uh, the files in and bring them into third party and then how you find them once they are in the third party um, hope you enjoyed. Thanks a lot.